Wait a minute. All right, we back on. We good. Oh, we already on? Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying, how can you point out my sin when I can easily point out yours? And even if I couldn't point out yours, you can point it out. And you being able to point it out by yourself is more than enough. I mean, you can't tell me that just because I'm a preacher, which everyone is a preacher, whether you proclaim to me or not. Mm-hmm. You, how can you tell me just because I'm spreading the gospel that I'm not supposed to sin? Yeah, when well, we all make mistakes. Says, the wages of sin is death. Yeah. But the funny thing about that is everyone has fallen short of the glory of God. And whoever says they haven't is calling the God, of, God a liar. And right. God cannot lie. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is we all have fallen short. But that's the sole reason why we preach about Christ. Yeah. I ain't finna tell nobody about Drew Minor, cause Drew done fell short. Mm-hmm. I'm not finna tell nobody about Elijah or Sylvia, cause they all have fell and fall short. Mm-hmm. But I'ma tell you about a dude who has it. I see, you, you see that I'm messing up. You pointed out my sin, so obviously you know I'm messing up. I got a few bloopers. But let me tell you about somebody who don't, since that's my job. Since he told me, he didn't tell me to go out here and categorize other people's sin and deal with other people's sin. He told me to go to Judea, Samaria, and the other most parts of the world and preach the gospel unto every creature. Mm-hmm. And that's my job, and that's the only thing I should be concerned about. I shouldn't be concerned about, man, how I look in front of the people. Because it's either one or two things going to happen. First of all, I'm going to put that word out. For one, they're going to accept it, or two, they not. It's either you do or you don't. It's not up to me to try to make myself look good, which, I'm not going to lie, we're supposed to follow the steps of Jesus. We're supposed to follow into the steps of Jesus. Right. But, if, again, it's not our job to try to make ourselves look a certain way so someone accepts our word. Mm-hmm. Because it's not, up for some, it's not up to us whether somebody accepts our word or not. The only thing is meant for us to do is go out here and spread the gospel. And in order to spread the gospel, you have to preach the gospel. Right. And if you preach the gospel, yes, Blake, you are a preacher, no matter if you claim to be one or not, because I damn sure say I'm not a preacher. I'm not <laughs> claim to be one, but I am, because yeah. I preach the gospel. What is preaching the gospel? Spread the word of Christ. Right. Well, I mean, there it is. I mean, um... And then I told you I had that one dream with that. That's kind of where I got this idea from, you know what I'm saying? Because I was tired of people just, oh, he's a preacher in the dream, you know what I'm saying? I was just like, and that's where I got this idea from, you know, like, damn, well, shit. I just say I'm not, you know, it's just when somebody say, are you you a preacher? No, I'm not a preacher. But then when you, it's like on the out cover and it'll say, no, not a preacher. If this was a book, on the outside, say, no, I'm not a preacher. You get on the inside and you start reading the pages and you'll see, huh, this is a preacher. He's a he's a preacher. Look what he does, and look at the words that he says to people. And look, he's actually preaching the gospel, but he claims not to be a preacher. You know, so either way, like you said, it's going to be effective, uh, regardless, because the word doesn't come back void. And so, regardless, and it, it won't be a problem. It's just like, you know, just so I could get my rap my rap across to, to Chris. You know, what I'm saying and his homeboy. You know. Um, and just, I guess, to make myself feel comfortable, like, you know what I'm saying? Look, because I, I, it's, 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 it's a mistake on their part, not on mine. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Because that's, that's human, human beings. Yeah. We just make mistakes. I mean, it's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? They just believe, they just really was taught to believe that preachers aren't supposed to do specific things that other people do. Yeah. Which is not true. And preachers that they're not capable. Like else. Are you saying preachers are better than um, you just because you make mistakes? And they're not supposed to. That's stupid. Yeah. No one, no man is better than the next. Right. And you can't put Jesus Christ in there because that wasn't really no man. <laughs> you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying? He walked in the flesh, but that was God to the to the fullest, man. God to God incarnate. Yeah. God in the flesh, you know man. man plus. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? You can just put men in the category we talking about. Yeah. You know we're vulnerable to sin. We're supposed to sin. Yeah. You know, but long story short, it's not their fault that they didn't. You know what I'm saying? Really recognize that preachers are just like them. Yeah. Preachers are just like anybody else, man. Only thing they're spreading the gospel, and you not. That's why you're not a preacher. Yeah. But if you did, you'd be a preacher. Yeah. 
not. And this is that. And, and, Hey, true. Yeah. Yeah. All of us supposed to do obey the laws, just as if a preacher would. So just because you don't label you label yourself as a preacher doesn't mean that you're not supposed to follow the rules. Everybody's supposed to follow the rules. So when that preacher falls short, don't don't uh, slam on his head when. Yeah, don't slam on his head when you're supposed to be looking at your, you're supposed to be getting on yourself. You understand that? So so really, what I'm doing also, if you think about it then, if we put it in that in that terms, then really I'm just shunning off the, the holy title. And so I guess so I can be my imperfect self. I mean, with or without the title, you're still going to be an imperfect self. That's what you have to realize. Mm-hmm. For the Lord's satisfaction. No, you're not doing it for the Lord. You're doing it for somebody else. You're doing it so somebody else can say, can't point out your sin. That's why you're really doing it, bro. <laughs> I mean, you can try to make it sound however you want, but that's why you're doing it. You said it yourself. Uh, I'm not a preacher. I'm not a preacher. I preach the word, but I'm not a preacher. Why are you saying you're not a preacher? So other people can't say, well, you're doing this. Why are you doing this and you're a preacher? Yeah. I just had to get that on had to get that on tape, man, because you speaking that real stuff, man. I want everybody else to hear it, you know, because that is the truth. And it's just so sad that the truth, the real truth, is really not out there, man. So many people are brainwashed and what do you call it, uh, you know, uh, legalized, manipulated. manipulated, legalized, because they're standing in this, in this square box when God is not, that's, that's not the square box. God is not the square box. God is... Yeah, he's so much bigger than that. And his love is so much bigger than what people are exposing it to be. And that's why so many people are, are you know, not not coming to God because people are disguising the love, the true love that God has, and they just want to be self-righteous, in my opinion. So I guess we got to fix that, huh, little cousin? Yes, sir. All righty. Well, you done with it, man? You good? Any other points? All right, well. There it is, man. Stick a fork in them. They're done. I'll let you boy, man. Untouchables Christ for life, man.